There's a lot that we need to do. So it's great that we have um, really detailed data on the quality of care through national registries, which are essential to helping clinical teams within hospitals understand where they're delivering good care and where they might be not delivering care similar to other peer group hospitals. So how we support them is to make sure they have the data returned to them or is you know, visible to help them drive and quality improvement strategies. We work um, closely with other groups, the National Stroke Foundation, the ANGELS program. So we, we supply data for awards programs and that really helps drive competition, but also motivation to uh, review practice and change practice. So I think what's needed is appropriate resourcing uh, and allowing time within teams that work within hospitals to understand the gaps in care, but also uh, the strategies that might work because it's not a one size fits all solution. People need to understand the barriers to practices within their own context and work on those solutions with uh, you know, hospital managers or different discipline groups. And I think what we find from the work that we've been doing is that you can get really good effects when people are all able to work together and have those the, the conversations about how they address particular issues within their service. But it's having the support uh, from from managers or you know government as well, depending on how the health systems supported and funded uh, to deliver stroke care. And I think it's really also important that the patient journey is fully understood from pre-hospital care to out-of-hospital care and that you know a patient's experience is not just limited to one segment of care.